Can you get an odd from an is? And I think it's absolutely true that you can't. I think it's but absolutely true that you can. Yeah, yeah, All right, so okay. first big disagreement. Good. Okay. Well, but, well, maybe we don't disagree so much as you think. The point is, I would say that you can't get an ought without knowing what is. That is, it's necessary. It's, it, right. it may not be sufficient, but it's necessary. So unless you know what is, then your oughts are completely irrational and irrelevant. So what science does is provide, for example, take, take homosexuality. Homo, you can't decide whether homosexuality is, is evil unless you, ask you, unless you ask, or an unnatural, unless you ask the question, is it natural? And then you'll find, say, 10% of sheep are long-term homosexual relationships. And you say, well, then yeah, you know, maybe it's actually natural. And so you can look at the world, and then you can say, or you can say, are women um, the, 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 the subjects of men? And then you can look and ask, you know, you can ask questions about intelligence, about all sorts of things. And so what science has done, and the reason so the rational world, the, the scientific world has overcome things like slavery and, and sexism and, uh, and bias, say, against homosexuals, is by looking at the natural world, um, you, can, you can identify the misconceptions that people can arise I think there is a final step, ultimately, deciding what's good or not. And, but interestingly, having said that, I'd like to quote my late friend, Steven Weinberg, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, who said, um, there are good people and there are bad people. I, I'll, I always quote him wrong, but essentially he said, there are good people and there are bad people. Good people do good things, bad people do bad things. When good people do bad things, it's religion. <laughs> and because because you can find a rationalization for, I mean, people who are supposed to love can nevertheless hate uh, uh, individuals of another kind. So in any case, I think that last step, I don't think an understanding of the empirical world necessarily defines what's good. It goes almost all the way. I don't think you can know what's good without knowing about the natural world. I think that's impossible. But whether, whether a scientific description leads you all the way is something that I, I'm not as convinced about. Okay. Uh, well, that's great, and I'm more convinced about it. So good, it sounds good. like you're 90%. I used to be no, no, convinced, I think you're, but I've come around. No, no, I think you're absolutely right. If your position is, um, and this is a minority position in modern philosophy of science and among modern scientists, that uh, oughts depend on ises, mm -hmm. and figuring out what the ises takes you significantly down the path to figuring yeah. out what the oughts ought with, to be. Yeah. With, with reason, then, I think. Yeah, with that's right. Okay. My own feeling okay, is that no. rationality applied to what is uh, leads to almost all the way to ought. Okay, good. All right, so then the only open question is, can you go all the way, or uh, if you can't go all the way, what's going to fill that gap? Um, and if it's not going to be science that fills that gap, something else is going to step in to, uh, to fill that gap. But I want to uh, then say uh, that you and I are then closer in agreement. So what I think our project is not simply trying to figure out how can we uh, get more uh, people tempted by religion not to fall for the usual kinds of religion, but to talk to the people who are attracted by science uh, about how to be more ambitious to use science to figure out normative claims and moral claims. Because to the extent that scientists are backing off from saying, we can't do anything normative, and that becomes a hard principle well, for Well, I guess them. it depends what you mean by normative. I mean, the point is that you can say, I think the problem about going all the way to ought is it suggests there is something that's absolutely good, and I don't think there are things that are absolutely good. But well, what you, science you, can no, teach no, no, you will, is uh, what works. So science could say, look, if we do this and this and this, then we find a society that seems to function better. Some people might call that good, mm -hmm. and, but I think that becomes semantics in the end. And, um, yeah. Well, it says that the, the words, uh, it helps society function better. That's the normative claim. And then you have, well, to, you have to unpack when, what do you yeah. mean by society What does better mean? That's less right. violence. Yeah, right. And again, you ask, is, that a, is less violence a good thing? And yeah. then you come into, the, into this morass, which allows me to, because I see, I see Travis getting antsy. Either he has to pee, or it's about uh, yeah. 75 minutes in. Well, so it's I, probably a good time to, to I, move on. I was hoping that Stephen would elaborate a little bit before we go to Q&A on, um, like, how does he think we can achieve the odd? 
Oh, thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, so what I then am saying is more robustly than Lawrence's. Lawrence's part way there is to say that ethics is a natural science. And that makes many philosophers of science very nervous and it makes many practicing scientists very nervous. Mm -hmm. Because you know, if you say you, know, you can't get ought from is or there's any sort of a dichotomy, then you are automatically saying that anything to do with ought is non-natural or unnatural. Well, I just think it's, it's, I don't think you're necessarily saying that. I think you're or, saying that, no, no, or it's just societally defined right. and it varies with time, yeah. which is what I would argue. Right, so then that is to say that it's not empirically based, it's going to be more subjectively based, either it's subje by... It's subjective, yeah, and it is okay, it's time right. variant, location variant, situation okay. variant, and, it, and it's, there's, no, there's no absolute, that, uh, which is really what religion is saying, there's no right. absolute cosmic sense of good or bad. It's yeah. something we develop, and, and if we're sensible, we try and develop by, by rational arguments, but it... But it, but it may not be absolutely good or bad well, because uh, uh, that may not exist. Yeah, I'm a, you're, I think you're <laughs> going to be running into problems, though, because if you go down that relativistic road, mm -hmm. then you have to backtrack from what you said a couple of minutes ago, saying that we're making society better and better. Well, I, I, no, I said... No, well, but you, you know, can't make, say that there is a better you're right. and better I mean, progressive When you say, standard, is, is right. a world of less violence better? Right. That, in some sense, is a subjective statement. Right. Some people would argue, uh, and so, but that's also that's also societally defined because um, right. there are times in human history where where a world that's violent is viewed to be better. Okay. Uh, like the Crusades. Right. And then the other thing, though, is that if you start saying it's societally defined, that means it's a bunch of people, yeah, who are not acting scientifically, or they're not acting naturalistically. They've just got their opinions. They accepted what the previous generation did, and they're just doing it. So they we're right back to religious practice and religious methodology too, applied to normative issues. I, so the I'm point just yeah. is that uh, I want to say that ethics needs to be brought into the natural sciences. How you do that, that is the big project. And also, Lawrence, uh, I think you are part way there. You say we want to do our ethics rationally and logically, I'd like, like rationality and logic right. to be but the then, basis of everything. That then is to say what we need as part of a science of ethics is how we do reason about that particular subject matter. And it has to be the same kind of rationality and logic that we use in other domains of reality. And I guess for me, again, you're going to say, it all comes down to words, but that what, what really determines what works. So at what's ethical is ultimately what works. And I mean, in the sense that yeah. science works, it's ethical in the sense that you don't lie, and you t and and why why not lie? Because if you do lie, then right. you'll come up with a uh, with a uh, a a, uh, a proposal, a proposition which won't agree with what will make wrong predictions, mm -hmm. and 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 that's what I mean by scientific ethics. There's nothing particularly good in an absolute sense about not lying. It's just if you lie, the scientific process doesn't work. So um, and since the right. scientific process is what leads to our ability to control the world as yeah. well as understand it, uh, that's why you don't lie. It's not that, not li it's not that lying is intrinsically necessarily no, bad. Really. It just leads to, ultimately, to things that don't work. No, I think that, that's beautifully said, but I would just say, when you use the word works, that's a normative standard. Of course, I knew you were going to say right. that.